So what's going on Toxic Gamers? We got a massive beef going down in video games right now. Huge drama with the GTA 6 stuff. Shadows of the BBC, Assassin's Creed Shadows of the BBC, which we talked about a million times over. What the hell is going on in video games? We even have a dangerous curve ahead, guys. Better watch out. Now, the situation is actually really, really crazy. Like, jokes aside, though, we even have Elon Musk making a video and responding to all that woke stuff the dei stuff that's going on in video games i want to play you that clip and i want to show you guys this video too like the video if you think there are two genders dislike the video if you think there are five thousand genders guys we are in the end game definitely speak your mind right now now is the time we are in the end game like the video if you just want good games man because i don't think uh we're ev we have ever seen a time where people have been disunited and there has been this much awareness and all that, right? Yeah, you're gonna see now. You're gonna see what I'm talking about in a second. Shout out to Smash JT Roller. Bioware just made a massive mistake in banning a content creator from EA Play because the content creator dared to criticize another content creator on YouTube because apparently that's where we're at and how online discourse just what? isn't allowed anymore. What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Smash JT and Ara, also known as Nore, who runs her channel mostly focused on a lot of Dragon Age. I've actually covered her before previously when she interviewed a QA tester that had insider information about Dragon Age the Veilguard and exposed a lot of the problems behind the scenes of the game before it even released. They banned her? What? Say psych right now. Say psych. Say psych, yo, EA, and, and these companies always are like, yo, gamers toxic, toxic masculinity, gamers don't like females, and these suckers banned a female. Bomba God. Now who's the real misogynist here, man? Stop banning females. Stop banning women. Stop banning women. Like the video if you agree. They banned a queen? Damn, man, y'all suckers crazy and everything seemed to show true. She's a channel that I have definitely taken a liking to because of her unabashed criticism and just speaking her mind without feeling like she has to have guardrails or red tape mm, yeah. or caution around what she says. Yeah, she's the real like queen, real strong, independent, not like strong, independent, men are wrong, men are menace to society, but I am, I am, I am, <laughs> You know, she's not like that, love that, love that. She just speaks freely, and apparently there's some people out there that aren't a big fan of that. My face and my rook have been used in so many thumbnails on so many I wonder why. horrible, hateful videos <gasps> that my <gasps> my comment section on most of my social media has just been a flood, a wash of either transphobia, mm -hmm. fat shaming, uh -huh. people calling me a shrill or a shill or whatever it yeah, is. Yeah, saying yeah, that yeah, shill, S-H-I-L-L, -L. that's what it is, right? Bruh. Yeah. Come on, guys, why are you guys doing that, man? Damn, man. Talks to gamers, bro. Talks to gamers. I'm being paid by Bioware to say. But you have been paid by Bioware. <laughs> I mean, I don't have a contract. You are being paid. Like, I don't care. You see, uh, uh, they made fun of me. Oh, this is the internet. Yeah, you're going to get made fun of. Like, you make fun of, like, oh, straight people and cisgender people. And, you know, welcome to the f internet. I'm very sorry to tell you this, but the internet is never going to change. Yeah, toxic internet. The internet right? is where hopes and dreams come to die, Eddie. They're gonna make fun of me. They're gonna make fun of my appearance. What? What? Nah, man. If anybody making fun of the sister, I'm finding y'all, man. Stop. Yeah, but sp sister speaking facts. Sister speaking facts. And guess what? It's about growing the f up and getting some f thick skin. Enter Eddie, also known as Unifade Walker. Many of you will recognize this creature as the person that kind of grew to- Yo, yo. Tranquilo, man. Pump the brakes, brother. Pump the brakes, man. Yo, what, what, what? <laughs> this, this creature? What did he say? To fame out of nowhere because they had early access to the character creation in Dragon Age the Veilguard wow, and how they nice. were so excited about showing off the trans scars in this game because oh apparently representation God. is so important. And then this is the one that blew my mind. Top <laughs> surgery scars are also included in this for all of our trans. <laughs> oh my goodness, that should tell you everything. You are mind blown because of the scars feature but not because of the storyline of the game, not because of the gameplay, progression, or the actual game. You know, things that matter. Things that truly matter. Like, uh, yeah, what did mind blow the F out of you? Uh, scars. The the surgery, the trans surgery scars. Yeah, that's about right. Crazy, man. These suckers are... 
Delulu AF, bro. Delulu AF, like the kids would say now. This cr insane stuff, man. And jokes aside, though, this is absolutely disgusting. This should, they, this should, this does not belong in video games. This should not be in video games, man. What, what the actual crap is going on, man? What the hell, man? What the hell? And non-binary rooks out there. I absolutely was blown away by this. Um, it's, it's, it's beautiful to see the inclusion in the game and to see yourself represented in the game in this way. Well, doing a little research further on this Eddie character, apparently they're big fans of Bioware and no Kareen Bush behind the scenes and even hang out with them. Kareen Bush, the director of Bioware's Dragon Age The Veil Guard, is also trans. So ah, hey, whoa, hey. Hey, tranquilo papi, yo, chill brother, chill. But honestly, man, honestly, man, like this is by far the best, uh, 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 the best transformation I've seen. No cap, no cap, 2020, 2021 right like 2020 be like 2021 you know it's like it's like one of those bro like it's crazy by the way guys i'm brown so don't cancel me i'm brown yeah, yeah i'm brown I, I really am brown i'm south asian guys i'm south asian i'm pakistani i'm south asian so i'm brown uh but but yeah like so the, the transformation the technology is really really advancing it's very very hard to uh, tell especially in that picture that the other one right like the main one i'll show you these trans people hanging together don't like people being critical of them and because of that they're now working together to get them banned from ea platforms brother said f being a man i'ma quit being a man i'ma become my female you know so he gave up he switched sides like he was in call of duty though Thank you. Hit that subscribe, give me a like, and check out SmashJT.com for the full and very exhaustive article going through everything I could find on the situation, and also some exclusive info that I got directly from Ara, also the person that runs the channel, Nore, because tranquilo, she tranquilo. is what I would consider a friend of the channel, someone who I respect and look forward to what they have coming down the pipe, because they don't hold back. They say exactly what's on their mind, and they're not afraid of what people think about them. I hate you. Eddie, not because you're trans. We've been through this before, but because you're insufferable, you are the most obnoxious content creator I've ever seen in my entire life. And I don't even know how people watch you. I mean, they're not watching you anymore, but I know how they did. According to Nure, the suspension isn't the result of any kind of legitimate violation of EA's terms of service, but instead the direct result of Eddie, Uni Fade Walker, crying to her connections at Electronic Arts. Eddie, in my opinion, is very clearly mentally troubled and has direct ties to other people at EA that are very clearly mentally troubled. And these people working together aren't a big fan of people having opinions. Bro, there's just so much information out here. Damn, man. I'm just praying for everybody, bro. I'm just praying bro. for everybody, man. Prayers out for everybody, man. This is what happens, man. This is what happens when you actually mess up and, and you toy around with and you F around with the homie Yasuke, man. Salute to Captain BBC out here, man. This is justice for Captain BBC. This is justice for my man, Yasuke. This is justice for Captain BBC. This is revenge of the Captain BBC, bro. Like, the, the type of crap that the, these stickers, I, I mean, it's EA, but, you know, it's a ripple effect, right? For, uh, yeah, the type of crap that Ubisoft has done to the homie Yasuke, crazy, man. So, yes, I'm with the homie Yasuke, man. I'm with the Captain BBC on this one. Together, we're gonna fight. We're gonna fight together. And uh, this is justice for my man, uh, Yasuke, bro. This is justice for him. This is re his revenge, bro. Shout out to, salute to Captain BBC, as always about them because we need safe spaces. So let me give you the full backstory of what transpired here. Nure, who is Ara, has gained some very well-deserved recognition as of late for her insightful commentary and discussions covering the gaming industry, specifically gaming. Bioware and the Dragon Age The Veilguard game. Some of Ara's videos have even explored the seriously troubling patterns of favoritism among certain content creators, and she shined sure. a spotlight on the behind-the-scenes dealings that many fans suspect but rarely get to see confirmed. What she discovered blows the lid off of everything. Ara has in the past criticized Yuta Fade Walker, who has a reputation for stirring up controversy by pushing her trans agenda to the forefront and attempting to silence anyone who questions her. Most of you, like I said, are going to recognize this Eddie character from their infamous video that was cringely celebrating the ability to add the trans scars in the character creator screen. Well, man. Eddie is apparently a woman pretending to be a man. I, I don't know. Honestly, I don't what, even uh, 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 what? Wait, what? What? I thought it was a man that switched sides, though. But but the other person switched sides, uh, right? Uh, but maybe it's a man pretend, oh, or it's a female. Okay, so they're joining the the brotherhood, I guess. Welcome to the brotherhood. Hey. Welcome, <laughs> welcome to man. Listen, bro. 
I, I don't understand like females trying to become women. Uh, females trying to become men though, because being a man is hard though. I I I, I mean like that that brother that switched sides and become a female. Okay, I, in a way I I get it. You want like easier lobbies uh, in real life. You, you know what I mean. You want like you want competition because competition is stiff, man. You want like it's like a different algorithm in real life in Call of Duty terms. Uh, if I want to explain to you guys in Call of Duty terms, yeah, the skill-based matchmaking in real life is very, very bad, right? It's very, very bad. So if you switch sides, all of a sudden it becomes very, very easy. Uh, so I, I, in a way, I get it, like, brothers that are switching sides, but, like, I, I don't understand, like, the females trying to join the brotherhood. I mean, listen, you come into the brother side, the brotherhood side, welcome to the brotherhood, welcome to the brotherhood, but it's gonna be tough, though to be bothered to figure that out because that doesn't matter to me whatever they are it instantly displays red flags and warning signs to everyone that they have severe mental illness eddie not only has some questionable views in my humble opinion but now a willingness to weaponize their personal connections yeah that, that's that brother that became a sister damn bro like this is this is crazy holy crap man this technology is really advancing because a first look you cannot tell right but then you look at the adam apple <laughs> you see the adam apple right there bro what the oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness but other if you hide that if you if i put like a hand there damn you know what i mean but once you see that you're like hey yo what the hell hey yo what the and then then you start looking like this right what i'm saying so yeah, guys, uh, don't chase the pom pom, man. Chase your dreams, man. Chase your dreams, brother. Chase your dreams. For retaliation, Eddie got early access to Bioware's game Dragon Age: The Veil vale Guard because they are an EA partner with close ties to Corinne Bush, who is also trans, and he is the game director of Dragon Age: The Veil. Vale he, he, he is the game director. He said, "Did he just say he is the game director? What did he say? Did he just say he is what he he?" ties to Corinne Bush, who he. is also trans, and he is the game director. Okay, so he, I believe I heard him say he. Let me actually get their trans, uh, the captions there. I'm not sure if he said he or she. I think he said he, he is the game. He, did he just say he is the game director? A partner with close ties to Corinne Bush, who is also trans, and he is the game director. Okay, yeah, he, he is the game director. Okay, so that's what he said. Smash JT, he said that he, Corinne Bush, he is the game director. Okay. Uh, yeah, so technology is really advanced, man. Nice hair, by the way. Nice hair. Of Dragon Age the Veil vale Guard, and for some reason, an extremely influential figure these days at Bioware. On Twitter, Ara shared the information with the suspension, we'll temporarily remove access to a game, part of a game, or your EA account when we notice activity on your EA account that goes against our terms of service or rules of conduct. They're usually timed and expire after a certain period of time. And as far as the infraction reasoning, they say it was inappropriate conduct, mm. EA, EA staff, partners and sponsors Damn. eddie reportedly used their friendships at bioware to influence behind the scenes and orchestrate nore's suspension from ea play and the they're banning real females right now holy crap bro well it used to be always like hey man uh protect women protect which i'm for oh 100 percent, man absolutely bro like we should give people job based on the merit regardless of their gender race ethnicity and all that bullcrap right like yeah if you're good for the job you're good for the job and i'll still say like regardless you're a brother that, that used to be a brother that became a sister like i don't care about none of that bro like if you're switching sides but you're good for the job yeah yeah they, they should hire you but but then once they hire you you guys are like really then going ahead and banning real females right you're uh doing all that crap and how many franchises you guys destroyed that's also insane to think about but if you're good for the job and you're not trying to push your agenda then yeah you should be you're good for the job regardless of who you are you're a human you're good for the job hey w or <laughs> yeah you're hired essentially right that's 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 what it should be all about but what what the hell is going on right now like seriously genuinely okay like genuinely what I, I, I'm lost of words right now, man, but I want to play you guys this clip here. Elon Musk said, can you just leave the video games alone? Man, he's one of the, if not, if I'm not mistaken, he at one point became the, the most amount of, the wealthiest man, right? I believe he's either number one or number two in the world. That is that is publicly known, of course, right? But check this out. It's really annoying when video game gets interrupted by some DEI woke bullshit. And I'm like, Jesus, I just, I was like, I was playing a video game here. 
Can yeah, you just leave like, the video games alone? It's it, it, you know, you, you don't want to do things that 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 damage art. Um, so yeah, it breaks you out of the story. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent, right? Like, look at that, like this. Damn, man, art. This is not art, okay? And this right here as well is not art, man. You guys gotta, <laughs> man. <laughs> you guys gotta have inspiration for the youth what about having inspiration this is how you're gonna inspire the youth inspire the youth not this way there are other ways to inspire the youth what what are we talking about man america is already already having an obesity problem and all that shout out to my stud donuts out there love my stud donuts love everybody man but like um, but on a real though america is having a uh, having an obesity problem right now and you guys doing this crap like you guys doing this oh come on man what the hell is wrong with y'all, bro? You guys should inspire the youth. Show me like an athletic man. I'm not super athletic, but if I see an athletic man, I would be like, damn, he look good, right? No homo, but damn, he look good. I want to like get bigger biceps like that. You know, stronger men protect women. Stronger men are the foundation. If you're a strong man, hey, you're not just going to be doing good for you, but you're going to be doing good for the family and more so than that good for the society as well society society right like yeah man what the hell what the hell by the way guys if you do use twitter i would definitely love to have you there links are always below uh, that's my instagram i would always love uh, i would love to have you there as well all right let's get back to the content here boo boo the reason they gave is absolutely laughable. And from my research on the situation, I've seen that Nore has made a couple of videos talking about Eddie and why they- For example, really quickly, right? Like I said it before and I'll say it again. Smash JT looks like one of my Kung Fu instructor. Bruh. So every time I watch this video, I'm like pumped up to go back to my Kung Fu class once again and be like, pow, pow, cha, two, ti, two, cha. You know what I mean? Throw like a kick right there, uppercut right there. Oh man, it hurt my, it hurt my hand Bruh. right there. Damn, homie. Uh, but, but you know what I'm saying? Like, like I, I'm, I'm inspired. I'm inspired just by watching Smash JT video. I'm inspired to go back to my Kung Fu class. Like, if you're watching this video, let uh, Smash JT know that uh, he inspires me. He inspires me. You feel what I'm saying? So inspire the youth, man. Inspire the youth. A couple of videos talking about Eddie and why they disagree with their standpoint. And again, all's fair in love and war when it comes to content creation. I've said this many times. People make videos about me trashing me all the time. Have what? at it. Let the people decide. What? But when you start complaining to the higher ups to get people suspended, it says a lot more about you. I spoke to Nuri in DMs and she said it was okay to share this message with you guys. And I feel like it's important to get it out there. She said, Eddie hates me. He has been trying to intimidate me by threatening cease and desist letters. Eddie hates me. He. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo. Oh my god, man. But but see, the, the thing is that it used to always be like, we need uh, more females in the workplace, at the workplace, right? Okay. Yeah. But now they're banning them. What the hell? Of course, like, she's a content creator. She was not working there. But, but like, just to think about it. Just to, just to think about it. They're banning females, bro. Holy crap. What? What? And think about this for a second, right? The people that are banning females are actually men that transition. So in, in all reality, it's like misogynistic stuff, right? It's like, yeah, like, because it's the men that are banning females while role playing as females, essentially, right? Make that make sense. Damn. That is crazy, bro. And then they ha they turn around to us gamers and they are like telling us, hey, you guys are misogynistic. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. We just uh, always given, hey, dangerous curve ahead warning to our brother. So they stay focused. That's, uh, oh man, Let let's go back to it, guys. When I reacted to a couple of his videos, then I got equally as big as him and that didn't work anymore. He's been trying to get me deep platform with no success, but he has he direct ties with EA. He is an EA partner, got flown to the Veilguard camp despite not even having 10,000 followers at the time, and has talked directly on multiple occasions to Corinne Bush, Veilguard CEO, which it's the game director, but whatever. Yeah. He's pulled his connections to he get me suspended from EA Play for seven days, probably by claiming targeted harassment, transphobia, and Damn. hateful attitude. And Damn. Ara continued, whatever he said to them, it only warranted a seven day ban, so it wasn't even good enough to get me permanently banned. All my criticism has been over YouTube and Twitch. I only use the EA app for single player games hmm. which is fascinating to me because now we're hmm. making the leap of if a content creator criticizes another content creator 
EA is going to look at that and say, we're yeah, banning you from our platform what the hell? that has nothing to do with where you were criticizing someone in the first place? Does anyone not see the problem here? This whole situation isn't just the whole one creator versus another thing. It sets a very dangerous precedent where content creators with corporate connections can and will use those ties to punish critics. If this gets left unchecked, it would discourage other people from speaking out against industry practices, yeah. ultimately stifling any kind of accountability in the industry, which honestly would create an ecosystem of toxic positivity in the content creator world. Where and, and, and prime example, prime example, Concord, we heard that some of the devs in Inside the company were not even allowed i'm not even talking about you me or any youtuber or any fan or any gamer or any, yeah you guys right all of us right i'm not even talking about us here i'm talking about the actual devs that worked on concord some of them that wanted to speak out what we heard and we learned is that they wanted to speak out because they were not liking what they were working on then they were like bro this is not gonna work well and they were not allowed to say any of that if they spoke out if they were to speak out they would have been thrown out, they would have lo uh, lost their job. So at the end of the day, they were like, okay, bro, whatever, bro. Like, I'm getting paid by the hour, it's a sinking ship, I'm just gonna collect my dollars, my, my money, and I'm out of pieces, deuces. And I don't even, I'm not even mad, I, I understand, I get it though, you're like working, you got a family to feed, you gotta put food on the table. Yeah, after all, it's not your battle, like, they're not even allo allowing you to speak. It's like the Hitler mindset right there, right? Like, crazy, insane that this is really really going on toxic positivity is the the term in other words right a and they spent eight years on this game 400 million us dollars not even canadian dollars like me man i'm in canada man maple dollar in worth jack right now bro it's worth something of course joking around but but you know what i mean right it's 400 million us american franklin benjis bro it's we're talking benjis though real cheddar no cap no print uh, no cap no diddy okay Insane to think about it. Insane to think about it. Where you just have to be happy and positive all the time. Otherwise, you fear that your account is going to be taken away from you or banned permanently, depending on what somebody at the access of EA or wherever else would look at you and say, mm, yeah, we don't really like what this person's saying about us. We're just going to ban them now. Yeah, yeah that's them. what we're going to do moving forward. That's a problem. Our quick, suspension you know? from EA Play has sparked a huge outrage on online supporters. Right and fully. everyone is seeing this as a blatant attempt to stifle her voice. Eddie has now become infamous for their actions that you do not do against another creator. And this... And, and I'll be uh, real on this one. Yeah, don't send hate to nobody, right? Like, I'm gonna... Uh, uh, yeah, like, even to this person that wanna send hate to that, that, that other chick. Like, even then, like, nah, bro. Like, you don't... Yeah, right? You know, just... But, but, but see, like, stuff like that, it does not help anybody. It makes, uh, it divides people, and uh, at the end of the day, what he or she is gonna achieve, nothing. In return, he or she, I, I don't know, like, their pronouns, genders, like, bro, I don't even give a F about that, right? Uh, he or she is probably gonna receive even more hit, which is sad. I'm sure, like, he or she don't wanna like uh i'm confused guys i really don't know whether it's a man or a female okay like i really don't know so he or she in return gonna get more hit and i'm sure they don't want that nobody wants hit nobody wants hit right even a person that is committing something wrong but in his mind he would be like hey i'm right you're wrong even they would not want to uh, receive hate nobody want to see hate nobody want to receive hate so in return he or she is gonna get all the hate so that's counterproductive so banning uh banning people pushing this agenda is helping nobody it's making people hate even more it's dividing people even more bruh y'all sick has gotta stop with that man just make good games just make good games man for everybody for everybody man guys check out this video on the screen we got gta 6 drama going on is that game gonna be woke or not we explored that topic in this video a lot of new findings check it out and it's looking kind of bad guys uh check it out and i'll see you there